Breastgate Telecom. Now. Zed is up. Oh. oh. Things okay. they good does. I will do one prediction yes. now. There will be a KO last pick from Royal, and there's going to be a Lulu support calling it. Yes, these are things that Royal plays against Zed. We thought, yeah. we were thinking, we thought it was going to be if Royal goes down two games, they might let Zed through because they do play Zed counters. It means that Royal has to find initiation in other parts of their team composition or just hope that they get it for free. Because, I mean, there's a lot on the line here letting Zed through, but it is definitely a kill thing. I completely agree with the Fischio. Yeah. Well, Let's see now, though, what Royal will go with. Elise has been their favorite jungler all through the tournament. They always pick it when it's open. Now they actually go for Jowen instead. That might be to take away from Benki, who had a lot mm -hmm. of early game pressure and she snowballs slightly in the early game, getting early DFG, she might be able to kill the set in a 1v1, and there's always the safe pick in a Kragas. That can work in the lane, but mm -hmm. I'm expecting a Kale. You gotta think it's Kale. It's something that White's picked against Fizz. It's what we've seen Alex each do well on. What? Royal is out of their minds right now. <laughs> we, well, I just gotta wait. I just have to wait and see what happens. Well, so then has been successful throughout this tournament, but up against this team comp? No. Wow. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, if I'm SKT right now, I am 2v1ing whites. Royal is considering that that blue was still going to be taken. Lucky oh. smited the blue buff, which means he's not up here in time. It took longer to get red, and Godlike's going to find a 2v1. He's not going to catch him with the counter strike, but he will catch the kick on him. Is it going to be enough damage? Godlike desperately running away from this one. The ignite is burning on the turret, oh. but he will survive. Wow. He covered some distance on that gank escape. I did not expect Godlike to be able to get out of that one. Bengi did the very standard red to blue buff, early gank top, and Godlike was just over pushed. He is extremely fortunate to not die to that gank attempt. So now the pressure is in the top lane. Bengi's gonna help out a little bit here, soak up the... Ex yeah, but SKT is already invading the Royal Jungle because as we said, Royal's uh -oh. early lanes are extremely weak. And even though White's... Oh, he's a little too low for this. <laughs> Behind the turret, they go in. It's a one-two kick punch. Impact's just there to take a Polaroid. He wanted to say hello. He wanted to be part of the gang flying through, but... They had it under control. That's what happens to Royal when everyone is pushed back to their turrets. They completely lose control of their own jungle, and it means dives like that are a possibility for SKT. Great execution as well. And the dives that Royal honestly were kind of famous for coming into this one, but it seems to have backfired on this time around. Who's he getting focused on? Mandu gonna lock him up. Barrier being burned there, but now he's putting pressure back on Mandu. Piglet goes aggressive. Whoa. A little too close on that turret, but Morji Fatabe has oh. a goal. Oh, the snipe from Piglet. But now White's coming around the back side. He's trying to lock it down. This was the teleport to the bottom lane. If they can pull up a double kill here, it'll be worth it for White into the ward. But he gets oh. locked up. He's going to be forced to get the one. Lucky gets the other. So what seemed like a bad move by Uzi was actually a bait. If he could have dodged that Mystic shot. And not even have. That energy charged up below that, or above that 50% mark. Baker hits him once. He's not level five. A good amount of harass is going to come out of this, but I think he might squeak out one more time. Ooh. Shield comes on. They're forced to back up. 22 health by that one. Godlike is fantastic at just running away very slowly. It's is being the first one to roam here over Faker, taking that teleport, not letting himself get in a bad spot, and also the roam here from Lucky on the man no too. Plan. They can lock it down for the kill. It's gonna be there. Tabe gets another one for himself. It's really unfortunate that Tabe picked up that kill. They were trying to rush it before they thought a counter gank was coming from Benji, but the fact that Uzi was alert. Jarvin not getting as many ganks in he was like. Impact goes hard. They throw it in the equalizer, but he has the chance to instantly walk out of it. May turn it into a 2v1 kill. He goes on a godlike. He gets the flash. The empowered goes down, but Lucky gonna continue the chase. Lucky might get the skill, but down yep. the bottom lane, they're getting ready to Here's counter this one. Bengi's gonna come in around the side. He's already caught the kick on towards Tabe. Oh, Tabe's man. just gonna get melted. Wow. The execution right there from Bengi was exquisite. He landed his Q, walked into melee range, art him, and then got the extra execute damage from his Q. The movement of SK Telecom, four members moving around the back. They're backing away already. Yeah. They should get yeah. out. That's a smart recall by Royal. Knowing that SK oh. oh, that's going to stop him. Oh, oh, just Uzi. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see Bengi chasing him down. The Moby Boots, they're going to be coming into play. Uzi takes a few shots there. He kicks him up with the Dragon's Rage. A quick kill coming in. 
On to Uzi for Bengi, puts him some point. Siege onto this turret, but Royal does have a bit better Siege. There it is. Stop this time as the Crescendo goes out, and Cres Lucky goes in. Crescendo and Equalizer landing, but Piglet's still alive at the back there. Lucky will go down. Two Shot Barrage does not land on him, and Godlock keeping that pressure on. SKT are running away from this Whoa. one. It's going to be a double kill for White. They keep going in. Godlock's now with the prey. The Flame Spitter is shut off there. Coming in by Baker. They're looking for the cooldowns, but they're in the middle of the fight, getting torn apart. They're kicked back, but the hit to the face before he gets away. Can they chase down Faker? White is going to try and cut him off with a rip walk. Faker realizes it. He's, He's going to try and turn back on Twizzy. Barriers available, though. Who will get the kill? It's going to be White. Faker's going to try and finish it off. But that is a lot of kills for White. I want to. An ace for Royal Club, and they're still down. Able to win that one. Once they get an edge in a fight, they can chase down. They only really caught Piglet. But look how Manju also stuck around to try and land the counter engage. That's why everyone picks Sire. It's for the counter engage. But there was only one wave of that. White and Uzi get to continue the chase. Force Pulse on top of him, smacks him down, double kill straight off the bat. And then Uzi was untouched throughout all that. Since it was Royal who were the ones who picked that team fight, no one on SKT got to hit him, and he was freely chasing them down. Even with the gargantuan gold deficit, Royal came out on top in that fight. And you can see Uzi taking a side sidestep on this. They're gonna this. try to steal this. <laughs> they will. No. Piglet. It's gonna be the dragon after, so at least the true shot barrage is down. This is gonna give them safety, but no, they find Tave. The wards are gonna be in their favor, and they've wasted quite a bit. Now to go back on impact. They're going back on impact. He may be able to flash away from this one. He does, and that's gonna be Royal back in a ways. The equalizer Whoa. goes down from Godlike. A little aggressive there. Who's he coming around the side? That's gonna be a force force coming out. SK Telecom actually forced to back away from this one. Lucky going deep. He wants to White still Ooh. trying to get in with that Force Pulse. That is going to be down Ooh. as he's waiting for it to come back up. Everybody getting quite low here. A good amount of damage taken across both teams, Ooh. but it looks like they are still pressuring Dragon. There is still a Jarvan ultimate up, and we could still see a Lee Sin kick for an engage. Lucky goes in. Where's the Jarvan ult? There, wow. Burst of damage coming straight through. Uzi getting in there on towards Faker. Faker trying to go aggressive, but he will get shut down by Uzi. They're going to keep on chasing. It's going to be impact the next target. You can see the Counter-Strike jumps away with that Leap Strike just in time. Well, Piglet, he's out of position he's running around the back still trying to get the chase in will he be able to pick anybody off he has low health Ezreal does have the dick Ooh, oh kicked away he doesn't get the attack <laughs> that time this time Bengi stays alive in that situation but they are still everyone oh! the mystic shot threads it past godlike it's gonna be the one for one also going down a kill coming in from oh! white back and forth on the board 13 to 11 piglet comes up with a lone man double kill absolute chaos after that one royal had the upper oh! catch Oh, 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 wide left. So Ooh. that fight was Royal winning and then Royal absolutely overcommitting. So watch the burst that went to Pumandu from White's glass cannon Cassidy. And then Faker went in for Tabe, ill-advised because the carries of Royal are Cassidy and Vayne. They chase, but at this point, you have to stop chasing. There's a dragon up that hasn't been taken and they did not expect Piglet to be around the back. So as they overcommit is when Piglet decided to show himself and pick up some kills in the back. The kick came right as Whites was trying to finish him off. And then as they were working on impact, Piglet ran them down from the backside. That could have just been a royal control dragon after two kills, but instead it keeps the game even and actually extends SKT's gold lead ever so slightly. So absolutely crazy these fights like i said there's a good amount of front end burst but there's going to be dps to follow and when they didn't have anything royal kept on chasing completely blind it's going to be impact oh they're going to jump in capitalism going in there but nobody else can get close he may actually wreck lucky before he can get in leap strike will be available in a second jumps onto Peggy. crescendo comes down we see the equalizer follow uzi's going to come in it's a kill for uzi and where do they go now some baron control off of this one that's how they taken away from that one Oracle on Bengi, may well Ooh. force Godlike, he's gonna get caught out, the kick comes in, Impact's gonna follow on through, Godlike gets kicked back in towards him, he's gonna get created, he's gonna get dropped down, Equalizer was down in time though, Uzi gets caught out, he's in trouble! Looks like Uzi may make it out, he forces the flash, gets into oh. the brush, the Can he, he puts on the barrier, no Impact gets the leap strike, they take him down though as White's coming in from the back, and Lucky tries to hit him, the Crescendo White comes in! White is in all sorts of trouble, but the Zonya's hourglass is perfectly placed, can he get out? Force Pulse comes out, no! Piglet is there! Tabe's in trouble! He's gonna go down, Piglet's tanking down the turret, and look at Piglet! <laughs> look, he's just in all sorts of trouble, he's like, what do we do, what do we do? I give a triple kill to Piglet. A five for one by SKT, because they got the fight when Royal was not ready for it.
support. Cassin and Sona are missing at the start of this fight. So Godlike, despite throwing down his equalizer, everyone on Royal tries to save him because Royal knows that they've actually been winning a lot of these fights previously, so they were willing to take this engagement. And as well as Uzi can kite, SKT can chase even better. Then White gets forced into over committing here. He gets caught by a grasping root. His entire health bar almost goes away. That's the danger of the glass cannon, Cassidy. And Piglet's scary Ezreal just finishes the job while taking the turret. We see the turret going down in the top lane and the mid lane pressured after that. A very reminiscent score of five to one in turrets now. One minute ago, the last game was finished. SKT is gonna have to put a few more on this one in there. Can they do it twice? They need another type of miracle fight where Whites can get in at the end and specifically where Royal could catch an initiation. But because they're down five turrets to one, it's so difficult for them to even think about this Baron. SKT normally just baits for kills. And right now, this is gonna be a steal attempt for Lucky. Doesn't get it. Two blade of the Rune Kings crushing down Baron and then possibly a Lucky. The crescendo from the backside, but it's only to try and help. The disengage is there. Quite a bit was used just from over the wall and that leaves Piglet and uh, go. They don't have crescendo available. Tabe getting caught out. Look at that. Godlike went down in a split second. Didn't even get to catch his health bar. It is gonna be SK Telecom rushing straight in. That's gonna be the first inhibitor of the game. And they're gonna back away. White's trying to get the burst. Oh no, Piglet's gonna follow. Piglet trying to get into the kill. They are easily gonna wipe these guys out. Piglet flashes out. The Baron buff keeping him healthy now. They're now onto Lucky. Uzi doing what he can, but it's only from the outside trying to make something happen. The true shot barrage misses, but it leaves Uzi limping away. What a push there by SKT. They had the Baron buff. They knew they could take fights, and Piglet is playing out of his mind this game on Ezreal. Always going in right after White uses his Rift Walk on Kasten, so he is safely trading damage back on Kasten without the threat of assassination. This fight all started because Faker finished off Godlike, so they did not have to worry about Rumble. But specifically, watch the way Faker keeps his distance. We actually don't have time for that, because Faker's going for more. Faker gets the kill. Uzi backs the hell away from that one. Doesn't want a part of that. You can see Uzi even just dropped before you even see that health bar going down. And they're just poking his throat. There's nothing Royal can do to defend it. Yeah, I think we're going to see a hard engage from Royal very quickly. <laughs> there it is, straight away, Crescendo coming down, Equalizer gonna follow, Impact actually take a very low, but look at that, the turnaround damage from SKT. It looks like they're gonna continue under the turret, Bengi is the one tanking, and he gets out on a safe safeguard, if you will, Uzi oh, finds a kill, oh. no, take it from White, they continue under Pumandu, Piglet now in the eyes of Royal. The chase is strong, Piglet's gonna get caught out, but look at that, Sonya's oh. gonna go down, and Piglet gets away, and that's gonna be White's in trouble. Oh. Oh. Telecom, just as Royal thought they could chase, SK Telecom are back in control. These fights are decided by inches right now, oh. and small ticks of health bars. This could be the game for SKT, but no, they're blinking red, they're just trying to take... Only one left up in that fight, and he was almost taken down there in the end. Yeah, and look at how they barely went for impact, nearly just took him out of the fight and how the turn happened. It's all about Uzi and White and how they stayed healthy. There was a QSS that got popped very early by Uzi to stop the Faker death mark. And once he was out of the picture, it was chase time for Royal. But watch, we've been talking about Piglet playing out of his mind. He waits till this moment to use the barrier, gets it with the shield as well from Lee Sin. And then since Uzi was surely dead, he had to flash away. And that was a rare miscalculation from Uzi, thinking he would finish the kill on a piglet before he flashed away, and he was just wrong. What a crazy... Could give him something, but knowing that there's a QSS, it makes it more dangerous. World doesn't care about fighting early. The jump in from Impact, the Equal Eye, the laser out the red carpet, but they're all off of it already. They've entered into the fight. Royals health bars are just getting demolished. Uzi on the outside trying to do what he can, but it's not going to be enough. Uzi's chased into the base, and SKT wipes him for the ace. The Quadra <laughs> for Piglet. Oh. Bengi stealing, stealing the quadra there, just getting the pen to it the end. But it's going to be SK Telecom taking this game. Strong performance in game two once again. Royal put up a great fight, lots of kills back and forward. But it's SK Telecom taking game two in the World Finals. It's only going to take eight more minutes than the last game. They solidify it, and they do it just as last time. That was a much closer of full threat comp. Really squishy, and in a team fight, basically what they want is Lucky to go in, draw all the aggro, and if he gets somehow gets blown up, he does his job because 
If they're getting lucky, then three threats are alive and they're just gonna ravage the entire team. If we roll this clip, we see exactly what happens. This is Tabe doing a really good crescendo. Like, catches Piglet after tower shot. Piglet gets blown up. Lucky goes in, draws all the aggro. Really good job. Lucky gets blown up by Deathmark. Now Uzi is alive, Godlikes is alive, and Whites is alive. Flashes into Rift Walk, into his E, double kill. This is basically what happens. The AoE team fight blow up. All these really squishy targets do so much damage that you don't even have time to turn around and kill them. Uh, this is what basically got them back into the game, and if this would happen to be a repeat process, maybe they could have won the game. But in the end, we have to realize SKT is a really strong team, and they, they don't make a mistake twice. And I think what you have to congratulate um, Royal here is they saw that very small window of, of Piglet moving just a little bit too far forward, taking that tower shot, and then the, the conviction that which Royal went in and took advantage of that was pretty astounding. That's what I was talking about when you have the initiation on your yeah. shot caller. That's it's gonna go. Well, off. very final word before we move on, Doublelift. Yeah, uh, I wanna see Royal have an answer to Jax this time. Either a ban or like an answer that's not rumble. Like that doesn't really make very much <laughs> sense. Rumble does not like deal with 